Stand by. Have you checked her mic? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Sorry, of course you have. I'll stop Keep micromanaging. <laughs> no whispering, no talking, no. Thank you. Welcome to Community Views, Community Voices. I'm Suzanne St. John Crane, Executive Director of Create TV San Jose. And in studio with me today, we've got a special guest, Tanya Lancaster of the Lancaster Group. And we're going to have a little conversation about the creative community in San Jose and creating a creative culture. How are you doing? I'm good. How good. Are you? It's good to see you. Good. This is a topic that's near and dear to my heart too. And you know, Tanya, you're a consultant for us. You've worked with us quite a bit, but we also have sort of these side projects that both of us have worked on and yes. I think have a real real passion for. You want to talk a little bit about sort of where where your heart is in all of this and and the things that you enjoyed working on here in San Jose. Sure. Um, I actually started out uh, when I first came to San Jose it was 10 years ago and I was purely really working in the area of PR. Okay. And then um, I came here as a writer, uh, was a magazine writer in London and New York. And then um, just throughout the years, over the 10 years that I've been here, have become more involved in different aspects of the arts. Um, started working on more on design in my own capacity. Sure. Um, and now within the last few years have started doing more producing of videos, which has become a real passion for mine as well. Um, so when people ask me what I do these days, I right. really say I'm I'm a writer, a designer, and a producer. Right, and you know so I'm fairly new to the this area, certainly a Bay Area native. But I think one of the things that struck me when I came to San Jose was, you know, there there's this there's this creative culture about to happen, and it's sort of in pockets here and there. Where do you see it going? Where do you see it sort of bubbling up? Um, <coughs> you, you know, that's, it's almost a hard question to answer because when I came here 10 years ago, I felt like uh, there was potential for the creative community. Right. Um, uh, but I would say that what I've seen in the last, so in terms of where is it going, um, 10 years ago I couldn't have predicted what, where it would be today. But what I have seen over the last few years, especially I'd say within the last three to four years, sure. is a real uprising of creative professionals here. Yeah. Um, as well as uh, businesses that sell creative products and services, sure. um, a real upwelling of uh, artists and musicians, right. um, uh, agencies as well. Creative how, does agencies. It, how does it differ than a San Francisco right now? And, and, you know, I think there's sort of a debate, at least I've heard in different meetings and circles I've traveled in, that do we want to be a San Francisco? No, we want to be a San Jose. But how is it different and how do we make it sustainable here? Yeah, no, I, I completely agree with you that to, to try to compare us to San Francisco is um, uh, is not is not a good thing to do because yeah. I think part of what any strong community uh, has, whether it be a San Francisco or a Portland, where where they have a strong creative culture, um, mm -hmm. they really have a sense of identity in place. And maybe rather than saying to ourselves, you know, how are we like Portland or how are we like how do we compare yeah. to San Francisco or or L. A. Maybe we really need to be asking ourselves, you know. What is it about San Jose that's so unique? What is right. our culture? Is it the fact that we have such a large Hispanic population uh, and a Vietnamese population and a South Asian population that's, that's very large right. as well? Um, and we have this real unique mix of cultures. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Is it our high-tech community that's here? Um, and how do all those things kind of come together and merge together? And what does that mean uh, in terms mm -hmm. of who we are as, as San Joseans? So yeah. Is that a word, San Jose? I know, I think it is now. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. And I think that's, you know, you and I were talking before just about how everybody, as a, as a whole, we need to, you know, every part of the community needs to play a role in making sure that the arts and the creative culture is thriving, is, is supported. What are your thoughts on that in terms of, of where we are now with that and where we need to go? Well, one thing I want to want to kind of, put out there, and I think people don't think of it this way, um, is that it's not just about having a, a thriving arts and cultural scene in San Jose. It's not about that. To me, when I talk about a creative culture, I think of it as beyond just the traditions of, you know, your traditional dance, theater, right. um, uh, film even. Um, I think about it in terms of what it means in terms of having a creative culture in the business community. Yeah. Um, there's a whole 
uh, there's a whole uh, methodology of thinking out there called des design thinking, yeah. which basically says that business innovation is driven by creativity. Yeah. And uh, companies like Apple, you can see this happening in companies like Apple. And I think that one thing we need to really keep reminding ourselves is that um, especially in, in today's markets, creativity drives innovation. Yeah. So if you want companies to come here and you want businesses to come here mm -hmm. and you want professionals to come here, you need to, uh, you need to encourage a creative culture in this place. Absolutely. And I think, that, I think that we have a long way to go. I think that it's starting. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I think there's huge opportunities for us here, yeah. especially with the companies that are here. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we have a long way to go. No, I think you're right on in that if we want people to move here, to live here, to engage here, we have to have sort of those uh, foundation arts opportunities and organizations to be thriving and supported. And I think that's a, a message to the community, too, that, that not only a, a patron, um, but but a financial supporter and a, and a person that's an ambassador for the arts here is critical. It's good for business. It's good for economic development. It is, and it's not just again. It's it's all those are very important. Mm -hmm. But then if you look at it also in the terms of like a city like Portland, um, I mean their creative culture has really driven so many things beyond the arts. Like right. their their bike program yeah. was really driven by that kind of creative outside the box thinking culture. Sure. Um, the fact that chefs and restaurants, chefs are attracted to Portland and restaurants are opening up there. Right. It's all linked to the, cult, the art, arts culture and the community. Um, mm -hmm. But those chefs coming there open up restaurants and drive a whole, yeah. a whole new kind of level of quality of life in Portland. It's all part of the ecosystem that's there. Right. Absolutely. As, as well as in terms of their urban development and the types of kind of unique craft shops and microbreweries that yeah. they're. I mean, you walk in, you walk into a, a restaurant or you go down some of their streets, and it's like it's very unique, and mm -hmm. that that makes people want to live there, which attracts. Absolutely. professionals, which attracts businesses. So. We're a bit of a blank canvas right now. I mean, there's a lot of opportunity coming up, and I think over the next, you know, several years, it'll, it'd be interesting to have a crystal ball and be able to look look 10 years down the road and see, can we can we get through this economic time and really be supported and keep our arts organizations thriving? Yeah, and I think we have a lot of, I, I do think there is, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, I, yeah. By no means do I want to say there's not a creative culture here because I think there is, and I think that the mistake that a lot of people say is the South Bay is a you know a cultural wasteland, and it's yeah. absolutely not. No. We have a thriving uh, music scene here. Mm -hmm. um, we have there. a thrive. We have tons of filmmakers who come yeah. out of the South Bay, but they're actually going down to L.A. Yeah. We have people who are coming out of De Anza and San Jose State, and then going to L.A. Yeah. And it's like, what can we do to encourage them? Um, we're not going to keep all those from going to LA, but sure. what, what can we do to encourage them to, to stay here and do some work here as well? And I think I hope Create TV is a part of that solution in the, yeah. in the coming years, certainly a, 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 a partner in that endeavor. Definitely, and I, yeah. I, I do think places like Create TV are so important because um, if you're trying to drive a, a creative cluster, if you're trying to bring these minds together, you need places for people to yeah. gather and do that. Yeah. For instance, places for youth to be training and getting mm -hmm. educational, and that's exactly what you guys do. Yeah. Yeah. So I think places like Creativity are absolutely essential to building that culture. I want to thank you for coming here today and sharing some of your views on the creative culture sure. in San Jose. Certainly a, a topic uh, that, that I'm passionate about as well. And I want to encourage you out there to engage. Engage in the arts. Check out what downtown San Jose has to offer, what the arts organizations and music scene has to offer, and uh, uh, engage in that. So thanks for watching today. I'm Suzanne St. John Crane. Thank you.